Hey everyone, thanks for joining me. This is Dustin Nolf with Keller Williams Realty's the Dustin Nolf team and the Full House LLC, Pittsburgh Property Management. Uh, what we're gonna look at today is search engine optimization for real estate agents and uh, lead generation in general for real estate or anything else really. Um, what we're gonna look at relatively briefly, this is gonna be a short video, but we're gonna look at how me and my team use search engine optimization in order to get us more traffic. And uh, by you know getting us more traffic, we're also getting us more leads. And we're, we're kind of keeping a stranglehold on a couple different markets here. And I'll show you what I mean by that. Before we get started though, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for my channel. I'd greatly appreciate it. Check out the uh, info card that's going to pop up here. It's got a couple links. It's got links to a great affordable coaching that I do, $10 a month at entry level for real estate agents in general at any level. So if you're a beginning agent or you're an experienced agent and you want coaching, group coaching for an affordable rate, that's where you get it. We get we have free stuff for you to download as well, expired listing mailers, Craigslist ad copy for sale by owner contract and much more coming up, checklist and that sort of stuff to keep you more efficient. We also have team building coaching at $100 a month. That's extremely affordable for team building coaching. If you're looking to build a team and you want more knowledge on that, $100 a month, that's it. You'll get checklists for teams, you're going to get uh, insight on hiring, firing, and coaching team members, that sort of stuff. Uh, and then if you want to really up your game, I do one-on-one -on -one coaching for real estate sales, team building, or real estate investing. It's $1,000 a month, face-to-face, -face, uh, one hour a week. So check that out. Check the links below. i got great links for awesome books that I love that really helped me out along the way. i got a link for Real Geeks IDX and CRM solution. If you want to save 150 bucks there, click that link. And i got links to the coaching and some other things. Other videos that you're going to like um, that are related to this one, they're linked below. All right, so let's get started. So we're going to do, I'm going to do a screen share real quick so you can see what's going on. So this is the, this is my uh, Weebly site. So I created a site using Weebly and you can use Wix or Squarespace or whatever the hell you want. Um, they all do a very similar type of thing. I ended up using Weebly because that was the thing back then and I created a team site and my team site if you look here so this is the insights uh, we had 1187 unique visitors last week. Okay. That's a pretty good number. Would you like 1,100 people coming through your door every week? Uh, that's kind of what this is, 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 you know, your website is your online storefront, okay? So we had almost 1,200 people uh, on our site last week, and that's almost 5,000 page views. Uh, the cool thing here, you can come in and see, you know, where they came from. Uh, as long as you're paying for the, the premium subscription here, you can see where, they're came, where they came from. Um, Traffic summary, sources, that's the kind of the most important thing to watch there. So there was a 223 views that came from a Google search, so they were searching for our team. Uh, Facebook, 12 from mobile. And the funny thing is, so when we talk about search engine optimization, look at all of these little views, right? So there's pages and pages of where these people came from, and a lot of these are just like, you know, one or two people coming from these re these sources. And that's where you're going to end up get it, getting the majority of your views from is from the little stuff out there, not necessarily from one big, you know, source. So if you're getting them a lot from the little sources, that's because you did good with hyper local long tail phrases and search engine optimization in general. Okay. So Let's take a look at what I mean by that, right? So <clears throat> I've sold three different listings in this particular development. It's called The Cove at St. Charles Court, and it's in the Pittsburgh area. It's in O'Hara. It's on the border of O'Hara and Blonox. Um, 
it's a pretty nice development. It's one of the few like riverfront, waterfront properties you can get in Pittsburgh. And this is one of the phrases that I used, home for sale at the, at the Cove at St. Charles Court, Pittsburgh. That's one of the phrases that I used in order to get top placement on, on Google here. And the reason why I use that is because I'm trying to get in the mind of a buyer, right? So if a, if a buyer is searching for a property there, what are they going to search, right? So if they specifically know the neighborhood and they want that specific neighborhood, they're going to search for it by name. So that's why I did that as a, as a phrase. So when you search that, I've got keywords in this video that match very closely this right here. And you'll see that this video, this is from almost three years ago. And this video is still showing up on the top of these search results, right? So that's what you want. You want longevity. So what we want is people coming in here and clicking on this video because they're looking for a home and they're like, oh man, this is, and this is, a, this is a, one of our crappiest videos we, I think we've ever done. This is just a, a run of the mill one that our web or uh, MLS does for us um, that we must have been busy at the time because we didn't customize it. We normally customize them. But you come in here and this is, so with all the content we have in here, we're getting the search engine optimization that's making it show up. But what we want to do is we want people to come in here and say, oh, well, this is, this is old. It's not available anymore. But they can click on our link here and it's going to take them to our, um, our search page. So then they can search for homes and we can capture them on our search, on our IDX search portal, right? So... That's the idea. So this is three years old. We're still getting traffic from it. That's fantastic. Um, it's got 170 views. It's not horrible. It's not fantastic either. Uh, but we've had we have videos that have are approaching 2,000 views from years ago that are still getting traffic for our site. And that's what you want is you want over the years, you know, hundreds of videos, hundreds of blog posts out there that are driving traffic back to your sites. So that's the idea here. And if you scroll down, like you're going to find, we're outranking the, the, the uh, official Cove website here. Okay. We outrank them with a YouTube video. There's hardly any content on YouTube video. We outrank them with a YouTube video. Uh, and then down here, you see our blog post for this is still showing up on the first page. And this is years ago now. So the idea with search engine optimization for your listing is that you want to create and put keywords in your listing description and whatnot that's going to make it show up when somebody does that Google search. So for instance, you know, when they're searching townhome for sale, the Cove at St. Charles Court, Pittsburgh, PA. That's called a long tail phrase. Look at that. That's a giant phrase. Okay. So when they search it, we want them to, we want it to show up here, right? Here's our video again. And, and ideally, and we got two more links showing up down here. Ideally, you want it to show up when they search many different variations of that, that phrase. And I'm going to show you how to do that. And you see, these here are our blog posts. Um, let's go to this blog post real quick. So, so we start with the key phrase. So this is a good key phrase right here. Luxury waterfront townhouse for sale in Pittsburgh, PA. So anyway, you want to feed it with a, you start with a long tail phrase up here, and then you have, um, you repeat it. So the first thing you want to do in the body of your blog post or your YouTube video or, or or even if you're just posting an ad on Craigslist you you have a long tail phrase here and then you follow up with a long tail phrase here um, then you're going to describe the property but you're gonna wanna put a whole bunch of keywords in here so this luxury real estate offering okay so that's keywords Elegant waterfront townhome development, keywords, the Cove at St. Charles Court, more keywords, high-end unit, active lifestyle on the river, that's keywords, so some, something that somebody might search. 
So home for sale, active lifestyle on river, that might be something that somebody searches. This townhouse includes integral garage, detached, so we're going into the basics here. The COVID St. Charles Court is being mentioned again, Pittsburgh, riverfront condominium. So, so you see what we're doing here, and we're, we're repeating keywords. So the more often you repeat it, the more likely it is to show up when somebody searches that. And then we have here, we created a link that says free search luxury homes for sale in Fox Chapel School District. So <clears throat> this property is located in Fox Chapel School District. It's a highly desirable school district in Pittsburgh. If somebody happens upon this because they're searching for something like this, they're going to be able to be driven to our site and search for those properties by clicking that link. That's exactly what we want because so what happened is we sold this property and we took down the detail page link from it and now we're still generating leads from it even though this property has been sold for over two years because we got this link in here so if somebody comes across this they're going to click that link and it's going to open up our um, idx search for fox chapel homes so that's the idea with <coughs> search engine optimization you can do this with YouTube videos, you can do this with blog posts, you can do it with Craigslist ads, whatever it is that you're using. But remember, it's pointless to do it unless you have a call to action and links that are driving traffic back to your lead capture resources, okay? So you want to make sure that these links drive them back to um, search sites, IDX, your IDX subdomain and things like that we're going to capture them and you see in our blog here we have this as a heading all the time what's your home really worth so the client you know if somebody's on here and they want to get they want to sell their property they can click these links here and I have it set up to open in new tabs so it's going to say you're looking for a career in real, real estate here is our um, capture a lead capture page for real estate page for real estate agents Here's our search site if you want to search for homes. If you want to find out what your home's worth, here's our funnel capture page for that as well. So we got call to actions here, call to action here. They can click on other properties over here. Uh, and that's the way it works. Uh, post below what your big ahas were, what you learned from this, what you're going to implement right away. Um, if you have any questions or you want to see any other content or details um, on this or any other subject, post them in the comments below. I use those for topics of videos, so you could help me come up with the next topic. Um, give us a thumbs up, give us a, a subscribe, and click the notification button, and check out the links below in the summary. Thanks for watching.